Good afternoon and welcome to the Market Summary. The UK FTSE 100 finished up just over half percent yesterday on 6549 spot 11. No change in the US stalemate between Republicans and the Democrats as we draw closer to October 17th. With just one day remaining, they are still negotiating terms and this will go right down to the wire. UK inflation remained unchanged in September, the CPI remaining at 2.7%. The bank's t CPI target is 2%, however they are unwilling to raise interest rates just yet as unemployment remains too high at present. UK house prices data out today showed another rise in prices across the UK. Across the UK, prices rose by 3.8%, however, in, if the South East and London are excluded, prices rose by 2.1%. In the last month, much hype has been made by the recent Help to Buy scheme, creating a bubble in house prices. According to the surveys from Halifax and Nationwide, average house prices are now at £170,733, which is only 30000 short of the peak seen in July 2007. On to the markets, where Royal Mail had another great day. They closed almost 3% up, and if you had bought them via the IPO, you would have seen a return of nearly 50% so far. The government has come in for much criticism at the underpriced issue of the shares, where brokers have seen huge institutional demand. If they are added to their elite FTSE 100 at the next reshuffle in December, then the price could go even higher as tracker funds would be buying up the stock. On the FTSE 100, Rio Tinto finished up just under 4% after reporting a strong third quarter. Hargreaves also moved up 2.65% on the back of a positive interim statement. However, news of Burberry Group Chief Executive Angela Arendt leaving the luxury goods firm to join Apple next year, this sent the share price plummeting by over 6%. Angela Arendt has been at Burberry for almost 10 years and has made them into a recognised firm globally. Christopher Bailey, the current Chief Creating Officer, will step into Angela Arendt's shoes when she leaves. The news broke as Burberry reported a 17% growth in retail sales for the six months ended in September, but this did little to stop the slide in the share price. Thanks for listening, I'm Chris Howe.